Come on in! Welcome to my charming abode. I'm Leslie and I am so excited to share with you today my Christmas home tour for 2021. This year, more than ever, I picked a theme and I stuck with it throughout my entire home and I love how it feels. It feels so calm, relaxing, and just really cohesive and I love the vibe it's giving off this year. The last few years, it's felt a little off in here, and I finally figured out what it was. And it's something I want to suggest to you right off the bat when you're getting ready to decorate your home for Christmas. In my home a few years ago, I incorporated blues. So then when I was putting out my Christmas decor of traditional reds and greens, I had a lot of clashing going on. And I think that's why I wasn't enjoying my Christmas decor as much. So this year, I decided to try something different and do something about it. I went ahead and I decided to do like a blue rustic glam winter wonderland. You're definitely going to see the theme throughout this entire home. I stuck with my Christmas trees, my snowflakes, my blues, whites, golds, and silvers, and deer. And you will see that all throughout every single thing goes together and is incorporated so well. So when I walk into my home, it just feels so inviting and I love that my original color palette of my home is not clashing with my Christmas decor. I would like to invite you to subscribe to my channel, hit the little notification bell so you never miss out. Let's get started right here in my entryway. Obviously, this is the first thing you see when you walk into the home. Well, I always say it should start on the front porch, but my front porch Christmas decor is coming soon, so come back for that. But as you walk into the home, you see this beautiful staircase. This year, I wanted to spend extra time and really pay attention to detail. A lot of times for many of us, it's just about rushing around to get the Christmas decor put up. But this year, I really wanted to focus in on my theme. I wanted to add in the ribbon, the little picks, the extra ornaments, the all the items that make this stand out. So I took my time and didn't rush. Last year, I placed my skinny tree, if you remember in my home tour, one of them, in my dining room. But this year, I needed the extra space in there. So I felt like this stairwell was the perfect place. I love how skinny it is. It makes it still simple to walk through here because you have to remember, even though you're gonna have your Christmas decor out, you still have to have your home functional and we wanna be able to use it just like we always do. So this was the perfect spot. You're very quickly gonna to start to see a theme throughout my Christmas trees, my garland, everything, that it all goes together. On top of that, I have this really big, opening in my, I don't know what to call this to be honest, it's kind of like a, a bookshelf that's built in the wall. It's always been a source of like how do I decorate this. This year I decided to just really go all out and put some really big items that pop when you look up here. This is the only place that I did not stick to my rule. So I feel like if you're going to have like flocked items you in that room you need to continue that throughout the theme of the room so i have lightly flocked everywhere you'll see here in a little bit i even went so far as to flock my christmas tree so everything would go together nicely this is the one area that i actually went against my own design principles and i allowed this garland right here to not be flocked so don't be afraid to step outside your comfort zone just a little bit So lots of you saw me decorate my buffet in here for some of the past Christmas decor that I've been showing you. But for me, I think this is my favorite part of the dining room because you walked in that door and there's the entryway and then you look in here and of course your eye goes right to all this pretty sparkle. I think this is a really fun way to help dress up your dining room and just kind of, I don't know, I just love it. It just screams winter wonderland to me. And so as you can see, I incorporated my entire theme in throughout here with the deer and the blues and the creams. I even 
added it on each side of my table with the wreaths and these beautiful little deer head ornaments that I found. Fun little touches like that can just be so simple and just so easy for you to do in your own home. Keep in mind that what I do in my home, yes, you might not like the blue. So take your color and incorporate it. You know, you can find fun little ideas like, oh wow, I really like this idea. I think I'm gonna try that. And then just take whatever theme and color you're using and put that into your home. I will try and list everything down below that I can. A large portion of this is items that I already owned and then I just added in some new, like the ornaments and things like that in order to just bring in my color scheme this year. As you can see, I don't have a Christmas tablescape setting out here for you today. I plan to have that for you here in a couple weeks when it gets a little bit closer so you guys can come back and get some great ideas for a fun way to set your table for Christmas. Okay, so we're back here at the front door. This looks pretty blah, right? Wow, a wreath on the inside of the door. We're going to look up and look at one of my favorite parts of the entire house. Right up here, I made an entire winter wonderland. Here is where I made my own little forest. It is so adorable. I put five trees that I found at Hobby Lobby and these awesome deer that I found over at Kohl's and I put snowflakes hanging from the ceiling. And here you can see that I also added in sheets to make snow and a sled. I didn't want to add anything artificial looking to this area. No presents, you know, like wrapped presents, no anything like that. I really just wanted to keep it like it was deer walking in a snowy forest. As we make our way into the heart of the home and we head to the kitchen, I am gonna stop in this little bathroom and show you some fun, cute things that I put in there. Okay, so right off the bat, you can see the cute little fluffy white garland that I have around the mirror. You'll find that throughout my entire theme everywhere. You'll see that in the kitchen that was on the little skinny tree. But this is my absolute favorite part. I found this most hilarious thing at a local store from Home Alone. It makes me laugh every time I come in here and it makes my husband laugh because of course the toilet is right here. And so when he's going to the restroom, that is what he gets to look at and I love it. If you're not following me over on Instagram, you definitely need to be lots of behind the scenes things. I'm talking about these cakes all the time. No, but there's a lot more that goes on over there that you know that you don't get to see. So follow me over on Instagram, it's a lot of fun. Okay, we'll, we'll return to our regular scheduled program in literally one minute. A huge source of uh, for me is decorating this hutch. I don't know why all the time. I just like to keep it pretty simple, but this year I decided to just put a few nice things out that go with my theme, pretty little deer plates. And of course the whole reason for Christmas, um, I did a little nativity scene, a holy night with a little cross. As you can see, I got more of the little palm garland in there, the blue ribbon, all the sparkles. And so just everything just going together with the rest of the theme, but yet nice and simple and not too over cluttered. But hey, if you are one of those people that wanna just go all out and put tons, go for it. Do whatever is pleasing to you. I love this little like side table that I have in here. So pretty, I decided to keep it nice and natural and neutral. Of course we have our Christmas trees our awesome remote control taper candles. I've been talking about those a ton. And of course, just some pretty little rope. And then down here, more little Christmas tree with our deer. I kept it with a black theme going right across here. And as you'll see up here, I even changed my artwork to feature Christmas sayings. I found this on uh, Pinterest, a free printable. I'll list it down below. And these are the awesome frames that I showed on my Amazon video. And so I just placed those inside of there. I think that looks so cute. Ties all the black together. And it just flows so nicely. One of my favorite little areas in my home for Christmas. And then right next to that area that I was just speaking about is my pretty fireplace. This has already been featured in one of my videos, but can I just say, this is my favorite place. Every place is my favorite place. I'm just cracking myself up. Sitting on my island is just three pretty little candle holders with some frosted little wreaths. These amazing remote control 
candles that I'm always talking about. I will list those down below. If you've been following me, you know I talk about these all the time. Don't you think this is a great time if they're enjoying this video to hit the like button? I think you should hit that like button, hit that notification bell, and subscribe. Yeah, and share it with your friends. That's what I want for Christmas. <laughs> This little area in my kitchen is always so fun to decorate. I have to be pretty strategic in how I do it because Jason doesn't like me to block the plugins. So I like to just put little different little vignettes along here. Love this one. I'm loving the little stand with the lid. It says merry and bright. And then look at these adorable birds. They're so pretty. I love this one. I also love this little stand with lid because it's really fun to use for different seasons. This ladder was bought at Kirkland's in the past, so I'm not sure if they still have them. If they do, I'll list it down below. And then I found this tea towel locally and it just matched my theme so perfect I had to snatch it up. So trying to keep the theme, I added in this cute little bird over here also. I love these trees. They're a really pretty like blue, gray, green color. And this little thing that it's sitting on is so fun. They sell them at Target. They're kind of like a little cutting board, but they're elevated. And that's just a fun little trick for when you want to do little vignettes on the side that just elevate them up and it just helps them to stand out a little bit more. This area behind my farmhouse sink can be really frustrating to decorate. Not only do I need to make sure that I keep over there is a plug-in, keep that cleared out for Jason. It's just like kind of a large area back there, but I don't want to put too much stuff. I found these adorable deer at a local place. They're a lot like the ones that I found at Target. And then just putting in a couple extra taper candles with the remote control candles makes it really easy to turn on back here and then adding in a Christmas tree. This area is so simple. This is like everyday living right here. This is my hand soap and my actual plants I'm trying to grow. And then this pretty little gold tree I just added in to kind of tie in the colors and theme all together. This little centerpiece is so simple and easy, but I think that's one of the reasons I love it because I always wanna have something simple here on my kitchen table to just remove really easy. I love the blueberries with the pine cones. It just all matches my theme. Nice little rope with the little jingle bell. And then something you can do, I just put it up on this little Lazy Susan. It just elevates it off the table so it makes it stand out a little more. And it's just a nice little Christmas centerpiece. So in here in the master bedroom, just adding in some soft little cozy touches. This navy blue and this cream, I love it. I feel like it just really, to me, that's what I want in my bedroom for Christmas is cozy bedding and a nice ambiance. And I achieve that by having a Christmas tree in here because I love just the special little lighting that it gives. That's all I really like to add in here because honestly, the only people that see it is us. And so I add things and so do this in your home. Add things for yourself, not for others. So that's why it always includes soft, cozy bedding. And I really like the Christmas tree because I like the lights. Okay, last but definitely not least, my living room is always just my favorite during the holidays. I love my tree, as Jason calls it. He likes to call it the Rockefeller tree. <laughs> I am loving it this year. Once again, I decided to put it in the center of my window where it can be flanked on each side. I really love how when you walk in, that's just the view that you get. And so let me let you guys take a closer look of what I've done here in the living room. We'll start off here on the mantle because you guys, if you watch my videos, have seen this before. And so we have our theme all decked out across this beautiful, huge mantle that I have. We have white Christmas trees. We have gold taper candle holders with candles. We have these awesome deer that I found at Hobby Lobby. Oh boy, look who's upset over here. Are you so upset because I took your blanket away? Okay, we'll let everybody know that we're gonna get the blanket back out for you. Do you want the blanket? Yes? Okay, hold on, let's get it for her. Here you go, baby. Here you go. She literally wants under the blanket, she's cold. <laughs> okay, back to the mantle. We have these adorable stockings with little tags. I really love, love this mantle. It just stands out. When you're in here, it's just like, whoa, pow. 
Over on this side of the room, we have our pretty little centerpiece here on our coffee table. Still loving it, love these candles. Added in a few extra details, incorporated the ribbon from my Christmas tree into it and just kind of made it a little bit more like my tree. We have this pretty little white fluffy tree and that matches the white fluffy tree back here. Let's talk about this. This is one of my favorite things that I got last year at Bath and Body Works and it's a candle holder and I love this thing. It used to have a little red scarf but I changed it to navy blue just to match my theme. I have a couple little things down here, nothing spectacular, just this little deer thing that kind of like blocks this basket that I have. But my new favorite thing that I have in here this year are these gorgeous, gorgeous little hanging swags. I made them over to match my theme and I absolutely love it. I love how I added in the blue and the whites, the silvers. It really adds a dynamic to my living room when you walk in. So pretty. I found these really pretty candles at Hobby Lobby. I love them because they had nice little detail on them. One of the things I was talking about for flocking, all of this was natural greenery and I flock this so that it would all go together nicely for my theme. And last but not least, my tree that I love. I took about two days to get this done. Then of course I incorporated all my blues and all my winter wonderland themes. Lots of picks, gold, silvers, white. Everything that I wanted for my tree is on here. I wish you and your family a very Merry Christmas. We'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.